In this demonstration, I'm going to show how to rotate your meshes in Unreal Editor 3 so you can capture that using Fraps or another screen capturing software and put it on your demo reel. And for the meshes to rotate, I'm going to be using Adam Schumann's Dominance War 3 entry, which is this character here and also the pedestal. And the first thing we need to do is select the character then go into the top viewport and right click. We're going to add actor. And you have many different options here. You have static mesh, interp actor, mover. Uh, we want to make sure to place this as an interp actor so we can interact with it in Kismet. A static mesh is just a static version of it that can't be interacted with. So we'll choose interp actor and we'll scroll out here in the 3D viewport and make it a little bigger. And everything's dark because there's no lights in the scene. So we'll go into unlit mode and we'll double click the character to bring up its properties. And we just need to check its movement and change its location to be at 0, 0, 0. That'll make things easy. Now we'll go ahead and duplicate this character and we'll go into the dynamic SM actor and then the static mesh component and go all the way down to the static mesh component and we'll replace the mesh with the pedestal. And we also want to make sure it's at 0, 0. Okay. Now we'll just add a light so we can see what's going on in lip mode. So we'll hold down L and click the character and it pops a light right there. Now if we go back into lip mode, you notice it's not affecting the character. And the reason is, is because it's a dynamic object. Now there's two different ways you can do that. If you have a scene with a lot of lights, then it would be easier just to select the character and go down to its component and make sure to add static into its lighting channel. Another way would be to go into the light and change its lighting channel to include dynamic. Either way is two different ways to do the same thing. Now we'll just put it, position this over here a little and that looks good. So now that we have everything placed, we'll select the character and we'll go into Kismet. So I'll close the generic browser and I'll go into Kismet. So here in Kismet, we're just gonna go through a really simple matinee and if you want more information on Kismet, there's a really good DVD on the site that Rusty Simsprot just made. And he goes into this in more detail. So I'll right click and I want to add a new matinee. And I'll double click the matinee. And this is the matinee editor. Uh, by default, I don't think the curve editor is shown. This appears the curve editor. So to turn the curve editor on and off, just click this icon. And over to the right is your timeline. And over to the left is where your groups are. And at the bottom is the property settings. So we just want to right click in the group section and add a new empty group. And we'll name this turntable. Now we want to right click on the group and add a new movement track. And a movement track is what you'll use to move or rotate objects. In the timeline, we'll see we have five seconds of timeline right now. So I'll go to the end of the timeline and I'll add a key with this button here. So now we have a key at the beginning and the end. So now that I'm at the end, I'll get the rotate widget and I'll rotate this about 360 degrees. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now if I move the timeline, you can see he moves. Now we need to go into the curve editor and we don't see any curves here because we need to turn them on and it's this checkbox right here. And so by default, it's just showing you the position curves, but we also need to see the rotation. To see a rotation, you go down here into the properties and make sure to check show rotation. So to frame this, we'll click these two arrows to frame it and we'll go to the last key, which is the rotation on the Z and then we'll right click and set its value and we'll type in negative 360. And if you want to make this loop, you want to make these curves linear. So we'll select the key and select the linear curve, and then we'll do the same thing with the first key. So now if we want to preview this, you can click this preview loop, but it's just going to preview the green section. So we'll just drag these out to be the whole five seconds. So you see it goes all the way to the end and loops without a hitch. Now we want the pedestal also to rotate. So you'll notice it made this turntable nub and also it plugged in the character by default because we had it selected. Now all we need to do to add pedestal is select the pedestal and then right click in the empty area and then you can see there's new options when you have something selected and we just need to add a new object variable and then we'll plug it into that nub. So now if we go into matinee and play this you'll notice they both play at the same time. Now this doesn't look very good for your portfolio one quick way to have this presentable would be to deselect the character and then press G. And G hides everything that's unnecessary and it tries to show you exactly what it would look like in game. 
but there's still that little green dot down there and that's the keyframe. And so we'll go back to the movement track and we'll hide 3D track. So now I've got rid of that. And we'll make sure to deselect again and we'll hit loop. And so now with this, you can use fraps to capture this and put it on your demo reel.